If I am a piece of shit, then I've got to prove something and do something outrageous. And that's when I actually did decide to have my family and to get married and to have such a large family and to to do my business. It was all just to show myself and show my kids that I'm not a piece of shit. And I don't know if I actually accomplished it. Actually, I don't think I did. Um, there was just so many things that my kids didn't know about me. But I just wanted to show them that my intention was to make a beautiful life for them and a beautiful life for our family. But it was a very fast moving train and it it went off track many times it went off track and so in fact uh, I feel like right now in my life I'm still I'm trying to put it back on the track my business and going to Indonesia knocked our family train off the track and I was just thinking about whether I believe that it would have been better for me not to do my business because I never really got to accomplish like this setting. <laughs> I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but as as a mom and moms understand this that you your house is just never clean with kids. It just never is. And so as a mom, you're always trying to crack the code of the, you know, creating systems that will support your ideals of a clean home. So, um, I never accomplished it. Like I never accomplished it when ever, like I never accomplished it. When I came back from Indonesia, I got the beautiful house in Arizona and Tucson, and I was able to nearly complete that house and style it in the way that was just getting, I was able to fine tune it and really make it so exciting and fun to be at and magical. But my kids didn't really, they weren't really interested in coming and my, my grandkids never got to see it. So it's been like this lifelong quest to create this setting for a group of people that didn't really even care. They didn't care. I was pretty much the only one that did care. And, but what I do see is I see that to some degree, it is important to my children, this intentional approach to what's in our spaces. And I think that definitely is something that I have been able to pass on to them.